So sit right back and we'll hear a tale, the tale of a faithful trip. Something, something. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the dork side. It is I, a friendly neighborhood dork in the road, although right now I seem to be a dork in the bushes. We're doing a little bit of dual sport action today, and by we, I mean me, and of course, our, our number one channel guest, the duck fan, who might have a little bit of a surprise for you. Oh, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. His new Yamaha WR250R, or as Cycle Cruiser says, WR250 fucking R. After an exhaustive search of, I don't know, several days, uh, Duck Fan landed on the WR, and I think he's quite pleased with it. I didn't hook up the back of the Senna pack today, so I'll just have to repeat all of his witticisms to you. <laughs> but here he is, in the bush. It's the Yamaha. Look here, we've got the Yamaha 250R in its native habitat, off-road and among the bushes. This bike is loaded, ladies and gentlemen. He got probably $2,000 worth of upgrades on a bike that only had 300 miles on it, so he did pretty dang well, especially considering what he paid. Skid plate, full exhaust, fuel controller. What else do you have that I'm forgetting? Uh, upgraded tires, hand guards. Header, full header and exhaust. Oh, you got vegetation on your uh, case guard. Well played. It's officially broken in. All this extra sweet ass tires. It's a sweet bike. Yeah, a bunch of weight removed. The tail tidy, as you can see. It is a beautiful piece of machine. So, we're gonna dick around in this crappy field near my house, and we have big plans to head out to the OHV park, maybe even tomorrow. So, stay tuned for a big video on that, but we're gonna dink around a little bit. Watch out for that piece of wood. I also put premium in, and it's uh, making a difference, I can tell. Yeah, I wonder if that'll help with my the fuel economy issues. Because <laughs> there's another road that goes here. You can barely see it right now. Whoa. Use the brake, dummy. Um, and it goes out, and there's a little hill you go up and over, and it goes down along that creek. We could probably get back there, but it's not that exciting. Getting out is kind of a pain in the ass. Are you trying to do burnouts right now? Ah. This is fun. Look at him. Look at him go. Look how happy he is. And yeah, we're mostly in street gear at the moment. We're working on it. It's all brand new. You know how it is. It's all new to us. Look at him standing up, going over things. Hopefully there's no popo up here. No, this one fell over. It doesn't say no trespassing, it just says for sale. Go off that curb. Yeah. There, you gotta get in front of me. I wanna see you. We need, the viewers need to see you, duck fan. Loud, it's very loud. It's definitely, the Ducati is only loud when you rev it. This one's loud all the time. Yeah, I can't hear my bike at all. Man, after that first oil change, this thing is so much smoother, it shifts smoother, accelerates smoother, it makes a big difference. My other bike was the same way. The guy that, that Duck Van bought this bike from, had, he had five motorcycles in his garage and they all looked brand new, like toothbrush, toothbrush cleaned every fold and nook and cranny of the engine every time he took them out. He said he changed it every ride, changed the oil after every ride with royal purple. So, and I believe him because looking at his other bikes, he clearly spends a lot of time working on them. Just a, just a smoking deal. Sweet bike. 300 miles and he, and he paid way less than what you'd pay for a new one and got all the upgrades basically for free. The real bad thing you got to watch out for is yet this morning I took off on the 500 and gave it way too much gas because I'm used to riding this thing. Surprise myself. A little cold, huh? I'm not cold. I'm not even wearing motorcycle pants. I have an extra layer of insulating blubber though. Yeah, those U-shaped like Wolfman and the other brands, saddlebags. Duckman saying there, or Duckman. 
<laughs> duck man! Uh, duck man is talking about how expensive they are. And they are pretty crazy as far as dual sport luggage. Handy though. I feel like you could rig up something similar without spending that much money. WR 250R versus CRF 250L. However, Duckman's bike is heavily modded and probably has 10 more horsepower than mine. And that doesn't seem like a lot until you realize that I have 20 and he has 30. So it's a significant increase. Oh yeah! On to power, baby! Ooh. That and he just let me pass him. There's that. <laughs> you know, I don't have that much acceleration at 57. I'll tell you that much. So I found this secret spot, ladies and gentlemen. Just a little bit of a dirt track, not too far from my house. It's not spectacular, but it's fun to dink around at, and it's close. We're getting on the freeway on our dual sports. No, we're not. It's interesting that there's a vehicle out here. That concerns me. Oh. I don't know, there's people in there. He's just doing mad burnouts left and right. Oh, there's a boat out here. That's new. All right, well, Duck Fan, I didn't want to spoil your birthday present, but I got you a boat. There it is. You just have to tow it home. It's a it's beautiful watercraft. You should get in and pilot it. <laughs> Don't fall. You're going to get tetanus in your butthole. You're going to get butthole tetanus. So sit right back and we'll hear a tale, the tale of a faithful trip. Something, something. Oh, jeez. You got to lean, drag the knee. Ah! That's a beast. I'm going to come pick this up in my truck and do nothing with it. That is the pinnacle of 1970s technology, aquatic marine technology. Do you want to do some power wheels? Pow, pow, power wheels, power wheels. I found, found a 40 full of piss. <laughs> the taste is the same. You can't tell the difference between piss and Miller High Life. This dumping shit is... This is why all the woods and everything gets closed off. I, don't, I love how it's all spread out like people have been digging through here for bargains. Well, what if you eat shit? I want footage of that. Yeah, I bet if you goosed it, you'd feel a lot of it. Man, that's nice. I've been avoiding bumps, but today I'm totally hitting them. I'm letting suspension work. It totally does. And I had my turn signal on that whole time. Surprising absolutely no one. It's just a little tiny hill climb. It's his first hill climb, ladies and gentlemen. Baby's first hill. Oh, like a champ. Like a champ. Yeah, I'd slow down around that corner. I didn't go down last time. I think there's room down there to turn around, but I haven't checked. Oh, sorry. So, I mean, not a bad place to come toss a couple lines in. Probably some bluegill in there. Maybe some bass. It's got to be an old mill pond, right? Yeah, probably. Fuck it. Oh, rear brake. Beautiful native scenery. Something red floating out there. Well, it smells like shit, I'll tell you that much. Oh, there's just a road right here. Yeah! Yeah! He's beast! It's funny, I can hear the thumping of your exhaust. It sounds like mine. Like, I, it sounds like my bike is doing that when you're like down around a corner. Yeah, definitely some thumping. Fuck yeah, this, I love this thing. I love this bike. I'll follow you. Yeah, that's the, really the only way to go. On 
this field over here is just open. You could ride around in it probably. There's a deer, yeah. Look, a deer. Can you see that on the camera? One of Oregon's beautiful mule deer. Just chilling, man. Just eating. That's funny because there's houses on the other side of this. Hey, buddy. Hey, deer. Well, you weren't afraid of us, are you? All right, bye. Oh, I, didn't realize you stopped. I was trying to get him on the camera. He took off. Yeah, dude, I love this thing. How do you feel about your WR purchase so far, Duck Fan? He's liking it, I think. Yeah, that'll be a blast. Get out on some real trails. Sorry, I keep forgetting to repeat what you're saying, because they can't hear you. There's some rain boots, some wallies if you need them. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, this has just been a sneak preview of what I'm sure is a summer of dual sport adventures for the two of us and anyone else we happen to run across. So, what do you guys think of, of Duck Fan's choice of the WR? It's a little different than what he was what he was talking about before, but uh, you know we'll we'll get a little bit more in depth into how that happened in the future, I'm sure. And maybe we should do a walk around video of his bike with all the mods. That would be freaking sweet. It's a dude on a trike. That's kick ass. What's up, trike bro? Hey, double wave. All right, that's how you do it. Damn, these allergies. Just this time of year. What are we doing, puppy? Get out of the road, dog. Go home, puppy. Go home. You go home. Get out of the road. Don't chase me, you moron. He's in the road still. That's stupid. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Uh, if you're looking forward to seeing more dual sporting shenanigans, now dual dual sporting shenanigans with Duck Fan and I, since we both have the off-road bikes, please don't forget to subscribe. There's going to be a lot of that stuff coming up this summer. Uh, thank you for watching, and as always, don't forget to be excellent to each other. Peace!